Alright, welcome back to the quarterfinals of the second World Magic Cup here in the Philippines. So we actually finished one of the games um, with, with Zach Sasaki uh, claiming the win. And we so we still were still able to catch game three of, of um, one of the other quarter pa- final matches. And this is... Uh, this is Marco Sharafika versus Sergi Paladut playing a mirror match. It's the Naya Zoo. All right. So we're so, going to see some burning trees and some reckless bushwhackers, huh? Yep. And they're already one in one. So this is game three. And uh, we're not sure who who's gonna be on the play, so we'll just see in a bit. And both players are shuffling their decks. So so basically, with this matchup, um, the the player going first, uh, well, assuming both players have um, um their normal uh, nor- normal um curbing draws, then. The, the the one going first is uh, heavily favored. So, um, who's it gonna be? Yeah, I'm not actually sure, but uh, players looking at their starting hands. Um, and this is all about the the explosive um, burning tree um, emissary to. To possibly another one to maybe a bushwhacker turn to draw that that definitely wins the match um so even if you're not going first um a burning tree into something turn two that would definitely be something all right so uh sergey actually goes first and he's now down to 17 with that fetch shock and puts down an experiment one Okay, so experiment one, not not the best one drop you want for this match. You want the bigger ones, and although this guy could get really big, it's it's not um as big um, naturally as the the curd apes and and the whatnot in the deck. All right, nineteen for Marco. Because I believe um, these Naya Zudex run both um, Curd Apes and uh, Wild Nakatos, right? Yep, I think so too. And that's a fetch into a mountain, conserving the two life points. And it probably either signals that uh, he doesn't have he has another fetch land in hand or. He actually has the other mana requirements for the deck. It, it actually could also mean that um, Cascard Ape only requires you to have the forest. So this just probably means that he has something that gets a forest or he had he ha- already has a forest and he doesn't have wild like cattle in hand. Yeah. So about these decks, um, do the matches also play out like turn three or turn four? Someone dies already. Yeah, because um, there's really not much um point in waiting. Um, so basically, what happens is is um the first uh, one person attacks and the other one either decides to block, hoping there's no there's no Atarkas command in hand or just doesn't black block at all because burn spells would would mean I mean a, a person attacking with burn spell with burn spells would would simply mean he he cast casts the uh burn spell first before attacking if he could or if or I mean that's assuming he doesn't have any more creatures to play so what normally happens is first uh wa- uh first Two turns, you'd be casting everything you could, and third turn is uh, normally an alpha strike with with some burn spells. So again, having burning three emissary turn two is really crucial in this game. And unfortunately, that's um, just a crit dip. Well, What's up with the? Uh, oh, okay. And that's a plus one plus one counter on experiment one. And there we go, a light, um, a bolt, and an attack for two. 
Right. Uh, quick check on the life totals. It's 16 for Sergi and 17 for Marco. So, not the best um, hand there. Well, turn to play there, but um, it, it, it could be good enough depending on what we're going to see here on turn two. Right. An untapped stomping ground. All right, here we go. Burning tree. Is this a bushwhacker? Yes, it is. Wow. Yeah, so burning tree into burning tree into bushwhacker. Again, one of the best um, turn two plays. Well, I guess it's rivaled with burning tree into burning tree into burning tree, then a bushwhacker, but yeah. <laughs> That's also rivaled with another burning tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even with the, without the bushwhacker, though, th this is this is definitely a better a better um, hand compared to compared to the curd dip. And those uh, emissaries are attacking for for three damage each. Yes. Okay. So um, I'm assuming this line of play means uh, he either wants to just spend his mana efficiently or that uh, that's the last of his creatures, I guess. Uh, no, because, well, I think either way you want to attack this way because the way he conserved his life total, he's... Um, uh, wait, what is he down to one to um Marco is down to fifteen. He's down to fifteen, possibly taking uh cause at most he's taking what one, two, three, four. Uh he knows that Sergio doesn't have burning tree. Fifteen. Yeah, at most he's taking like, like ten. Yeah. One, two, three, four, um, five, six, yeah. seven, eight. 9, 10. Yeah, at most he's taking 10 damage. So he's he knows he's going to be down to 5 next turn. So um, if he has something that... And and if he has an, a lethal attack next turn, then there's nothing that um, Sergio could do really. Because um, not attacking is really not that much of an option. You just um, play what you have and risk it basically. And at this point, well, well, technically, not attacking is an option, but it's really not something you want to do. Uh -huh. So that's the current ape. And um, I was talking about ten damage earlier. Well, it's actually, well, I was. It's actually eleven, and that's if he had another land and a bushwhacker. Ah, I see. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The the way I got ten there was actually a one drop, having uh, another counter for. For experiment one, and mm -hmm. then having a Tarkash command and hand, uh, assuming oh, okay. there's no blocks. Yep. But, yeah, that I think. Yeah, that leads to a risky counter attack. Alright, so um, checking the life totals. Uh, Sergi is now down to seven. With an untapped Shockland right here. Uh, does this mean something like a lightning helix, a path to exile, or like a wild nakato? Yeah, because no, there, cause there really wasn't uh, a reason to fetch the other land this turn, so that definitely means a lightning helix. Right, and, and yep. there we go. So life totals now 10 and 15 for Sergi and... Oh, oh it's, it's 10 and 10, he, yeah, he took 5 he, from that attack. attack. So basically, Marco needs 10 points of damage, and he that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So an attack, uncontested, with an Atarka's command would mean, would mean it's game, huh? Um, there is that um, credit still. Yeah. There's okay. a vexing double. double. And at this point, uh, right, he takes 
four, right? Oh, there's actually, it's actually just three, I believe. Oh, okay, so, uh, Sergi's down to seven, and Marco's down to nine. Oh, no, no, sorry, that is four. Okay, so Sergi's down to six. So he's just dead to a target's command, and yep. there you go. Yeah, so um, what what happened there was it was actually still an option not not to take the the damage from the vexing devil because um, if if he actually had burn spells in hand, but I, I guess he didn't. So we're going to the semifinals now, right? With Marco taking the win. <laughs> 